The cyber attack involving retail lender Latitude Financial may widen. The company's released a statement confirming the attack remains active and is now the subject of an AFP investigation. Nearly all the data thought to have been accessed so far is related to driver's licenses. While there's concerns the breach could impact past and current customers. Welfare payments have received a boost today with Aussies on JobSeeker in for an extra $1.77 a day. There's also been changes to the aged disability and carer payments among other allowances. But the Australian Council of Social Services, Charmaine Crow, says that won't go far considering the rising cost of living. I mean, we're speaking to people daily who are eating one meal a day, resorting to living in caravans or a shed, who are turning off their hot water system because they cannot afford the cost of energy right now. The head of the Victorian Liberal Party is looking to expel one of his state MPs for attending a heated rally over the weekend. Moira Damien attended an event which also saw a group of people perform the Nazi salute at the event. The state government Government's looking to ban the salute statewide as a result. Two guards and a prisoner under their supervision have been injured in a car crash in Queensland. The trio were travelling through Brisbane this morning before getting caught up in the accident. All three were taken to hospital. We're being assured there's no risk to public safety. And the RBA is not too concerned about the global investment situation. UBS is set to take over embattled lender Credit Suisse in an emergency deal to avoid a crisis. The deal's worth close to five billion Australian. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. <laughs> Take the Pepsi Max Taste Challenge. High star Scott Pendlebury's called for the AFL to introduce an NRL-style sin bin following some heavy high hits in the opening round. Pendle says the hit that saw Melbourne's Cozzy Pickett and Swan star Barty Franklin suspended need to be stamped out. Watching the NRL, if there's stuff like that that happens, is, you know, they get sin bin players, and I don't mind that for our game. Those non-football actions, um, I think we really need to treat seriously and get out of our game. Both Cozzy and Barty have accepted their suspensions for the high heat. Sound in football, soccer star Aaron Moy has been ruled out of the upcoming friendly against Ecuador with a back injury. Buying or selling rural or residential properties? Villa, one and done. This is SAFM Weather. 21 and partly cloudy for the rest of the day across the limestone coast. Much the same tomorrow, top of 23 and 26 on Wednesday. The 2023 footy season is here. Stream your favourite games live from anywhere. Footy lives on Listener. Download now and listen for free.